Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and yes, I'm back home. And the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is Scans Factory's Paris level. And they show this actually in state of the Unreal. And yeah, we're going to be taking a look at it right now. Let's go to graphic settings, Avicel Ultra. Let's just set this to 4K. Right, so accept that. And I have the frame rate on the top right corner. Let's go back. And I'm going to set the scenario to the day. And let's start the demo. Looks pretty nice. Now, I'm not sure if this is using the new uh, ray tracing translucency that we've covered here on the channel. I haven't really messed with the level in the actual editor yet. This is just a package demo that you can download. So just go ahead and check it out if you want to play around with this yourself. But yeah, I really like this. As you all know, I like whenever they release the Rome environment, I converted it to like Fortnite right away. And it's so funny because like the video game uh, body cam actually ended up using the uh, Rome map also in their game. So let's go in here. This is, um, if you've been to Paris, this is kind of like uh, the St. Michael statue area. Area. It's actually one of my favorite areas in Paris. It's pretty nice. Um, not sure if it's... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's one-to-one, -one, but it might just be inspired. It, it's actually right here. Actually, before we go over there, let me go ahead and walk around here. But yeah, the uh, 5090 is doing a pretty good job here, and we're not doing any uh, DLSS here. Uh, no frame gen. I don't think they have it enabled. So this is like pretty much native. TSR. Yeah, you can probably tell. Like, translucency really is like the last resort. I mean, the last thing. It's some flickering over there. Just overlapping mesh looks like. But yeah, I don't know if this is one to one. Like, exact same. Because I don't remember, or maybe it's just, it's been a while since, since I've been, so. It might be one on one. No, I don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll let me know in the comments below. Looks great. All right. I think they are reusing some of um, the uh, brick mesh and maybe even the puddles from the Rome asset. And yeah, I think they're using the uh, Matrix demo cars. Oh man, we got another project to mess around with. This is pretty exciting stuff. We got about... This is using 97-98% in the GPU. Get 103 frames per second in 4K Ultra. That's not too bad. Yeah, so St. Michael's statue is actually on the opposite side. And if I remember correctly, if you look left... If you go left... That should be what Notre Dame is. Notre Dame. It's beautiful, man. Nice job, guys. Yeah, like, if you look that way. Pretty interesting. I might convert this to Fortnite. We'll have to see. Because I love photorealistic stuff in Fortnite. It's, such, it's so challenging. Like, this right now, this packaged demo is like... 5.6 gigs or something like that. But for Fortnite, it has to be like 400 megabytes. <laughs> so it's like, people think it's easy to like port stuff in Fortnite. Like, bro, it's not easy whatsoever. Like, you have to fit it, pa uh, package 400 megs. It's, it's insane. 
But yeah, no, I don't remember this area here. I like it, though, because it's not necessarily, like, one-to-one -one replica of the area. Yeah, because it's like a two-way road. Yeah, it's like a road on both sides, if I remember correctly. But here, it's kind of just like a walkway, which is totally fine. I still like it. It's still cool. Man, this looks really good. Be perfect for like um for uh virtual production. And I actually told him today, I was like, yo, you should make it you should make Rome in uh the Paris environment, like post apocalyptic, like think like twenty eight days later type of deal when everybody kinda just leaves. I mean they captured I I no the I really like whenever they capture stuff that you got to see the imperfections on these walls. You know, like, majority of the stuff on Fab, like, are so clean. Like, bro, nothing is that clean. And I've told multiple sellers this. Like, look at this. This is what we want to see. We, we need to see some kind of grime and stuff. You know, like, nothing... Like, majority of the buildings and environments in Fab is, like, just too neat. Too perfect. Now, dude, throw some dirt. Some scratches. If you want photorealism, it's like, go all the way, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is probably... I'm looking at this now, like... This is gonna be super challenging to convert to Fortnite. Like, it's... It, this is... Oof. But, you know... I love me a headache, so... I feel like I just went back, so... Let's go ahead and sprint... And on the right, you should see uh, Eiffel Tower right there. But they probably can't do Eiffel Tower. That's like Francis' symbol. We'll check out the metro here in a second. The metro is legit. Yeah. The location of that metro. I feel like this block right here is pretty darn accurate. But yeah, this, this right here, actually, I don't know if I can find a picture of it. Like, I had a picture of it. Because this is one of my favorite. Like, St. Michael is, like, so cool. Like, even if you're not religious, like, this dude is, this dude is insane. And that's, like, the devil. Yeah, this is one of my favorite statues, for sure. In Paris. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. It is pretty nice. It's massive. Let's see if the uh, blocking volume comes up here. I just opened this, so. Oh, wow. This goes around? I thought they were going to block it right here. Oh, snap, dude. All right, the blocking volume is probably... Okay, right there. Cool, dude. So you got like an extra area this way. So that's neat. Yeah, this is going to look really good in Fortnite if I can pull it off, dude. I mean, I don't really make Fortnite maps anymore. Like, I have, like, zero players. But I just want to do it just to do it. Like a challenge. But I'm going to do that after I finish my MetaHuman course. Because I got to continue it. It got cut off because I went to Unreal Fest in Orlando. I literally just got home. So... Yeah, this is beautiful, dude. Great job, man. Yo, and I keep telling them this. I'm like, you guys are kind of screwing yourself over because you're going to have to top. You keep raising the bar in every release, man. Like, you said, should, you're shooting yourself in the foot because they're really good. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of their assets, a lot of their environments because it's just top notch. And what I'm going to do is probably run this in VR. So maybe we can try it in VR. And, and the 5090 is killing this right now. Even though it's like raw. Okay, there, there here's the uh, metro. Oh, very cool. I don't know if it's actually going to go to the, the tracks. Probably not, right? Yeah, so it's going to stop you right there. That's still cool. Get those lumen flickers, man. 
That's why you need that rear reconstruction in, in the in main already. Alright, so that's like the metro area. That's kind of cool. So let's see if this, you can go in this one as well. Oh no, this one's shut. Oh my gosh, that auto exposure is nuts. But yeah, I mean, what I'm going to do now is um, just try and see if I can crash this out. Let's go to 4K again. It's defaulting to that. Let's go to cinematic. And let's start it. Again, about 77 frames per second. But... Yeah, 59 is just fucking crazy, man. 98% usage using 15 gigs. But yeah, they, they did an amazing job of this. Look at that, dude. I mean, honestly, like, that looks just like St. Michael. Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of head bob too. That's kind of cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for checking it out, man. I think this is only like seventy dollars, and that's one of the good things I like about Scans Factory is like a lot of the people that I used to buy stuff from, they're like taking their old work up and like reselling them for like four or five times more. But with Scans Factory, they aren't really they haven't really changed their price point that much yet because like I said, I think this is only seventy bucks. And for seventy dollars and this fidelity, dude, that's that's no brainer. <laughs> like this is insane. Like the amount of work. I mean, as you all know, I've done some photogrammetry here on the channel. The amount of work these guys do during the capture and in post production, in post processing, is is pretty insane. But yeah, till then, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.